Then we had the dinner debonair. Mm-hmm. So Jericho and MGF are at dinner. They're both ordering steak, but they have to one-up each other. MGF's a total heel. He wants his steak well done. So Jericho says, well, I want it medium well. MGF says, change my order. I want medium. Jericho says, medium rare. MGF says, rare. Jericho says, I want it blue, extra bloody. So the lady goes to put their order in, and Jericho says, what are we doing here? You haven't said a thing. You've been rude to everybody. Next week, we're going to have a town hall, and we're going to find out what the man on the street thinks about whether you should be in the inner circle. So they're kind of acting like they're bickering, but then they make some joke, and they both start howling with laughter, and they then stand up and proceed to do a Broadway dance number. This was the... Craziest got, thing I've ever seen. We we got us by Stephen Edie, Steve I Owens, and Edie Gourmet from was, 1960. I have no idea you were talking about, but I was in tears watching this. In tears watching this. Yeah, it was something. Um, you know, it's a shot. It's 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 whenever you do it, it's a risk, and some people are going to like it, and some people are going to hate it. And um, there were for, definitely people that didn't like this, but the vast majority of feedback that I saw was people that absolutely loved it. I I, I, I saw more positive than ne- I saw more positive than negative. Um, I mean, we'll see tomorrow. You know, it's like one of those things where it works or it doesn't work, and you know, people will, you know, look. There's an eternal truth in wrestling when it comes to this stuff. Are more people going to tune out in the middle of it or tune on tune on in the middle of it? And we're going to know that tomorrow. So that's the Dude, deal. I don't know for sure, but. I'd have to go back and look. I think this might have went... What did this go head-to-head with? It actually might have gone head-to-head with the live Thatch is Thatch can. Well, then if it went against that, it should kill it. Oh, my God. It was either that or Casey versus Zia Lee. I think well, there's no hope. <laughs> there's no hope that this got defeated by NXT or even well, came no, it's close. Not gonna, look, 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 look. It's not going to get to defe- A Jericho segment is not going to get defeated by NXT. I mean, there's no chance of that. Okay, that wasn't going to happen. It's not quite I that. think this could be the biggest gap of the entire ratings war. That's my prediction. It could be. Look, we're going to know tomorrow. I mean, it's like I, I, I got no idea. My gut is is that it, it's going to, you know, my, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to give a gut because... You just don't know. You don't know what, the, like, again, it's hard to read the mass. I, I had, like, um, a couple of my friends, and I, you know, because I watch it early, and I texted them, and I said, like, just watch the show and let me know what you think of the Jericho thing. And, like, uh, and the reality is is that they were all so busy watching freaking news that they haven't gotten back to me. So <laughs> I was just wondering what my friends would think about this. And um, I'll know in the morning. I don't know now. And, um, as far as like, yeah, look, if you're, if you're an AEW fan, you're probably going to like it. If you're a fan of a variety, you're probably going to like it. I mean, as far as it's different, um, I, I like, I, most of the time I like different. Sometimes I absolutely hate different because it's stupid. Um, I felt it to be total, totally inobtrusive there was like when i'm watching it i had no negative feeling towards it whatsoever none inobtrusive uh, yes i could think of a thousand words and i'm not sure inobtrusive would be my definition of of this segment right here no i didn't mean it of the segment i just mean that like the, the whole idea of you know like i mean the it's whole I- two absolutely douchey heels that think that they're the greatest doing a dance number I mean, it's perfect for Chris Jericho and MGF. If you had Jungle Boy and Wardlow doing this segment, it, be it would have been horrible. It'd be horrible. absolutely horrible. Yeah. No, but I—I I mean, I thought the whole performance was just like it was really. I thought the the, the one that I guess like bothers me is like people going like like puts like you absolutely have the right to hate the segment and not want something like this on wrestling, and that's fine. You know what I mean? It's like I can I can absolutely see that. You know, it's just like it is not what some people want wrestling to be. Okay, that's fine. And everyone, you 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 know, you can't say you're wrong. It's like now is it is that the majority of people? Probably not, but we'll see. But what I thought was weird was people going like, "Oh, they were so bad." And it's like they were. I mean, they were like um, campy as shit. I mean, obviously. But as far as pulling that off, how many guys in wrestling? Do you think there's ten guys in wrestling? Dude, that almost that off? nobody. Flair, almost, 
Well, Flair can't sing. Flair it doesn't matter. Flair would pull it off somehow. Yeah, most very few people in wrestling could have pulled this one off because you got to be able to sing, you got to be able to dance. And I mean, like, and they're both like real singers. I mean, MJF is like, uh, you know, a real singer. I know a lot of people don't know that, but he is. And Jericho obviously is a real singer. So, um, and Jericho danced and dancing with the stars. I didn't know what MJF's dance background is, but he pulled it off. And the girls were good. And it was so, it was just campy as hell. But I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. So it's like, but anyway, like, is it good or is it bad? Did it work or not work? We'll know tomorrow. Um, but I mean, again, now, okay. What I will say is this. The people who are, who are like acting like it was like, like you know, ruination or something. It was, it was three or four minutes Come on, get on out a here. show. And it was just, a, it was just like, you know, the point that's the point is, is like, it was just a couple of minutes on a show. It was entertainment and. You know, if you don't, like I said, if you don't like it, you absolutely have the right to not like it because, um, like, again, uh, I don't watch wrestling to see Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet songs. However, I do watch wrestling to laugh and have fun. And that was just so, you know, it was, you know, I, I enjoy seeing people in their own weird talent and these guys have good personalities and i don't know i mean like rock and austin used to do that when they were feuding with each other these guys at least are not feuding with each other um although obviously they will be someday but that day probably isn't all that soon but um you know again it's just an attempt to be creative and uh like I said, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Hey, listen, let's just say this. When they're going to be headlining a pay-per-view together, if they do a dance number, then we got a problem. But if here... They before, if they do it before the match, I yes. don't got a problem. If it's after the match, I mean, or, or if it's during the match. You know what? Even during... Okay. Even during the match, because I remember I was at the... Uh, what was it? The, you want um, Jericho and MGF to do a dance number in the middle of a grudge match? I mean, not particularly do I want them to, but I'm saying that I have seen that happen in matches, and it has wor uh, it has worked great at times. It's probably failed at times as well. I mean, there's no fast rules other than if it works for the crowd or not. You're telling me if Rock and Austin would have busted into a dance number in the middle of the WrestleMania match, you would have been fine with that? Because I would not have been fine with that. <sighs> On paper, I certainly wouldn't, but I have seen matches that busted in dance numbers in the middle of the match, and not the main crowd event goes, grudge matches. Uh, not main event grudge matches, but main event Thank matches. You. I have seen main event matches on two shows that did that, and both got over like freaking crazy. Yeah, so we'll get over on PWG, but I'm talking a main not, event grudge match I'm with not the top talking heel PWG. against the top I'm baby not face on PW a pay per view. I'm not talking PWG. What were the two matches at? Uh, one was uh, WrestleMania weekend at uh, WrestleCon Super Show, and that was with a, you know a couple thousand fans. That was a pretty big crowd. And the other was OTT in Dublin, um, and it was it was the same type of thing. And um, Osprey and Ryan Smile, who just passed away, I think that they used to do that when in in like I don't know if they did that in all their tag matches, but I know that it was part of their act. And you know they were a hot tag team, so it's just it's part of the entertainment of the show. And, you know, I, I will say in, in, when I saw it in OTT and it was Omega and the Bucks and, and those guys, I didn't think it was, when I was watching it, I didn't really like it, but the crowd absolutely loved it. So then you're playing to your crowd. Um, I know at WrestleMania it got over like freaking crazy and freaking Drew McIntyre was in there and all these guys and, and, and I, I mean, it worked in the match, you know. I mean, it absolutely worked in the match. I I couldn't say I didn't like it because it worked. I mean, it worked like it worked like crazy. So, you know, it's like it, whenever you try something like that, it's a risk. But if it works, it works, and then that's the end of the game. And if it doesn't work, well, then you don't do it again.